Vegan Fashion Channel. It's Panisha. Today I'm going to show you how to do a body scrub. Now previously, last year I did a body, uh, a lip scrub, I'm sorry, on your lips. So if you look down my timeline and you will look and see the homemade or do-it-yourself lip scrub video, make sure you check it out. It's just a quick and simple five minutes scrub for your lips and make them feel soft and moist but today I'm going to focus on the skin I'm going to show you how to do a body scrub now before you attempt to do this project I need you to make sure that if you have eczema some kind of skin some kind of skin anything you need to consult with your physician first before trying any of these products even though they're all homemade they all come from just natural products we want to make sure that you guys maintain your health and not come out going to the ER because you didn't try some of Phoenicia homemade body scrub okay so I'm just going to disclose this at the beginning and let you guys know don't be using this stuff if you got some stuff going on with you. If you have leprosy, I'm going to need you not to use this, okay? But, uh, okay. This is going to be a quick video, as quick as possible. I see I already kind of rambled a little bit. But this is going to be a video on how to use um how to make your own how to make your own body scrub okay and this is going to be using just simple products around your house that you normally use that you probably just look in those cabinets and find that stuff and you won't have to go out and buy anything it's quick it's simple it's inexpensive and it's great for your skin it makes it feel very soft now if you have issues with um dead skin which normally people do i did my research and i do my research before i do these type of videos so that i can make you aware of the things that you should be cautious of and um like i said one thing is if you have any kind of skin disorders please do not attempt to do these products or use these products without consulting with your physician first and um secondly um, your skin has, it sheds every month. Now, um, like I said, I did my research. So, going to, say, a spa or something like that would be kind of costly. I mean, sometimes you cannot afford it. So, this is a way to do your own body scrub and shed that dead skin and um because you develop new skin every month so this is i'm going to do three different scrubs on this video one is going to be using white pure white sugar and the other one is going to be using brown sugar and i'm giving you the other one's going to be using brown sugar, and the other one is going to be using plain white salt. Now, I'm giving you these three different options just in case you have, you go around your house and be like, I don't have no brown sugar, but I got white sugar. Or I have um, brown sugar, but I don't have white sugar. So this is just a way, uh, three different ways to do the body scrub. Now, all of them have the same effectiveness, so you can try either one. Okay. Um, I'm giving you three different ways so that you can see which way is the most effective for you with, with the products you already have. So you don't have to go out there and buy anything. So um, hopefully you have these products just around your house. If you don't, just go out and buy them. They're very inexpensive. You can go to the dollar store. You can go to Walmart or something like that. And you can purchase these products for less than $5. So let's check. Let's go ahead and start with our body scrub Let me rap to you real quick I want to enjoy the luxury of like
And I know each other for real. Hold up. Lord, this flower bomb, firefly. When I'm low, she take me high. I can teach you all the sounds of love. Flower bomb, let me guess your favorite fragrance, and you got that bomb. <laughs> I'm trying that in nature, no disrespecting, baby. Just trying to make you smile. Try to keep my spirits up, that's why I lay down. Try to keep your spirits up, little vodka, whatever. Took it forever to get dressed, I acknowledge your effort. So I clap for her. she deserves an applause. Shawty working so hard, she deserves that baton. Shawty wear your baton, racing through my mind like she heard that I got that work. I heard that she been on strike. Care to tell? I read your mind. She been on them dollars first. Caramel macchiatos with Shawty get in the work. I can be your boyfriend, be your nigga, or a friend with perks. I'm just trying to work that. They just trying to work your nerves. I'm just trying to read your mind. I'm just trying to feed you mine. I'm just trying to give you. Life. Like, they just try and live in a fantasy. I feel it when you dance. Okay, I am finished mixing like the last me. one, which was the brown sugar uh, body scrub. And I have used it on my hands. Y'all, I wish you can see how shiny my hands are. You might not be able to see it in the video, but just my hands. So if you can imagine. I'm going to put it in, I'm going to put it right there um, to exfoliate it in those problem areas where um, skin is mostly dry and that you don't really tend to on a normal basis. And what you do after you place the scrub on you, you take it and you rinse it with I rinse it with warm water because I feel like that feels so good. And then what you do is you take a paper towel and you pat it dry like this. Don't be doing this. You could scar your skin like that, especially with the salt. The salt one is kind of, it's very harsh. The sugar and the brown sugar is okay. But the salt one, you can feel it's hard, like really, seriously. So, one question that you may ask when using this is, and I did my research, of course, is, um, like as far as the face, is it good for your face? I would suggest, because I use baby oil, for some reason, it doesn't mix with the face. So I would not put it on my face. Another thing is you may scrub it too hard. And your face may peel because of that. If you have sensitive skin like me, I have sensitive skin. So I cannot put harsh products on my face. So, again, this is a body scrub. I would not recommend the face for it. Okay, um, like I said, if you wanted to see my earlier video of the lip scrub, that's fine. I just made a little bit of uh, a little cup of scrub for you guys so you can see how it is. And my instructions as far as refrigerating it, um, keep it like two weeks, no longer in the refrigerator because it can hold bacteria and you can be putting it back on your lips. But refer to that video as to the instructions on that. As far as these scrubs are concerned, you can take these and do your own scrubs for your own personal use, or you can take them and sell them, or whatever. They hold in room temperature, but I would kind of put it in a refrigerator. But like I said, don't keep it in there longer than two weeks. It's better sitting out than it is in a refrigerator. You can put it in a jar like this. Now, this is just a candle jar, but I'm just giving you an example of a jar that you can put it in with a lid on it. Make sure there's a lid on it because there is liquid form. Depending on how you want it is uh, whether you want it liquid or not. 
but it still will have some kind of liquid form in there because you have olive oil in there and you have baby oil in there. So it's going to be a little liquid form. So I hope these three scrubs, body scrubs, were a good helpful hint to you guys for those of you who can't necessarily go out there and go to the spa and get your body all done and stuff like that so this is just three ways that you could use your own body scrub and put them in your own containers and use it on your own time this is a power thing for the feet like for the feet your feet will just, you will just slip away. Don't fall now, but you will just slip away. But um, thank you so much for watching the PK Fashions channel. Again, this is your girl, Phoenicia. And hit that subscribe button. I need some subscribers. Um, By the way, when I reach 200 subscribers on um, Facebook or on YouTube, either one, uh, I'm going to be doing a contest. So, um be on the lookout for that i'm gonna do a man giveaway as well as a female because a lot of my male fans are like you'll never give away no no giveaways to no males yeah you know who you are so i am going to give a giveaway for male and female it's probably going to be some um I'm thinking about doing some cologne or something like that for the man and for the female I'm going to do a little package. Let me rap to you real quick. I want to enjoy the luxury of like not knowing each other for real. Hold up.